Do you want to jump in? That's all good. Just talking about the match. We are now approaching Grand Finals. Yes, and Grand Finals is actually not going as seeded. So we have the first seed in Losers, and we have the third seed of the whole tournament actually in Grand winner's side. So this isn't too much of a surprise to me. I know the last time they played, uh, yeah, uh, Nanaba actually very nearly 4 0 him. Yeah, I saw that and it was really unfortunate. And then he managed to take the tourney with his Game & Watch, but that's why he's starting Game & Watch this time. He's not confident in his Samus to get the win, but I think Nanaba studied this matchup and I think he's going to do really well. Yeah, Nanima seems to know a lot about Game & Watch's uh, tool set, mm -hmm. so... Oh, okay. Yeah, he did, yeah. Yeah, I, I don't think I was there, unfortunately. But regardless, I know Nanima's capable of winning this, obviously being on winner's side. I saw and I thought that was amazing, but this is a different beast here and goes for the back row, gets him off stage, couple of uh couple of fish and bacon and gets the forward air, tricks up his uh his roll and ends up killing. But sixty percent is a good amount for first stock. At least he can potentially, you know, even this up with a couple good interactions. It truly, truly is. It's just, it's got so much to it. Game & Watch is such a weird character because he, he's got like distinct moves that make him good and then everything else is just terrible. Like his down smash is one of those moves because it has very little lag. His up B is the most clear move and then his down air is like three moves that just make him insane. And then he's got other moves to contest like His that down here. smash too? Yeah, like, that's his down smash and it's quite good. Yeah. Good forward tilt, unable to parry the second one and ends up getting hit. 85% <clears throat> is a lot, but... Ooh. Goes for that. Yeah, not able to get it, but... It's crazy how the Nair is also, like, uh, helps his recovery, too. He's gonna He's probably back to, oh, up, up oh, oh, he goes to the DI mix up and gets it. Excellent job by him. I didn't even know that killed. I think that does kill if you DI mix up. Mm -hmm. Oh, and that's a fully charged bucket, but it's a very weak one. So. Yeah. Uh, and he's gonna be able to use that this stock unless he gets completely, um, I guess, stuffed out. <laughs> oh, jeez, that's crazy. Yeah, wolf lasers do a lot of damage, right? That hidden below ledge. This is very yeah, interesting. I think how the move works is that it adds up the damage and then applies its own knockback. Gonna go for the fair this time. Yep, I thought so. He's starting to figure out how to deal with these uh, with these back airs, which you really, or sorry, with these down airs, which you really needs to do. I find that not contesting it, but instead uh, challenging it from different angles is the best way to do it. Either from either sides or maybe even above falling on him after he does it. Uh, we the down air of, yes it does. It has an initial hitbox and then once it hits the ground it's got like a uh, spread hitbox. Yeah, it's a very interesting move and it's one of his best for sure. Game & Watch is in a way a gimmick character in the way of like he's got just a few things that make him good. Yeah, he brought it back 26%, highly doable. He's gonna get hit with uh, some up airs, but. Yeah. He's also spacing a lot on shield better uh, as to not get grab. Obviously, he did right there, but he's been putting out fares, making it hard for him to get anything, really. Advo is struggling to get openings, and a lot of his openings come from counterattacks. And if Nanaba plays really well, he's not going to give him any counterattacks, so. Oh.
Yeah, I think that's a really good way to think about it because this character doesn't have approach options. He's got run up, shield up B, which is like a counter attack option even then if you're approaching with it. So, I mean, his dash attack is quite good as well, but you can also grab but Not the approach options of most characters. You can't run up with a Nair or a Fair because his Fair is not good like that. It's a, it's a bomb which not only if you grab it, you can armor through the actual bomb hit, but if you're contesting it, 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 it breaks. Okay, so that doesn't hit on ledge. That's a really good thing to note, um, because he's going to be able to sit on ledge for longer and not get hit. Okay, good fair, good fair. What the What hell? the heck? Well, uh, looks like he got stage like by the up -E. Which didn't even interact with the Nair. I find yeah, that extremely interesting. He could have teched it, but I don't think he thought it would have traded th like that. Yeah. I am. I'm in shock. But shock will not last because we have an entire rest of the set to play. Assuming that Adbo is able to get the bracket reset, which I don't think is going to happen if Nana if, uh, Nanab is able to, you know. I guess, yeah, keep up the pressure, get back into the form he had in Winter's Finals. Yeah, I think, I really think it, he was saving it as a counter pick because he didn't want to, like, give away all the info before they had to play a definitive set. Oh. And that move actually spikes too, so you have to be careful of contesting it from below. The down air? Yeah, the down air spikes. Yeah. Um, up B is another thing that's really hard to challenge because his up B through the, the initial phase, he's invincible all the way till he gets to the top. Now the down air does spike, but I think it has a second hit that cancels out the spike. Maybe, but because I saw I saw him down air and it did spike, but then he got the second hit while they're going down and it. Uh, yeah. Mm. It's a weak hit, like a weaker spike. That was an excellent job beating up the down air. Mm -hmm. Oh, he goes for the up smash thinking he's going to DI in or go for a contest option. but He's going to get back to stage. Well, at least the ledge. Ooh. Good down air getting him off the stage. He's just going to... Not that I can think of. I don't think he wants to contest it at all at the moment. He's going to just... Yeah, because he, he obviously lost that last game simply by contesting it. So he's just going to ignore that, wall him out, and make sure he can't get off ledge. Game & Watch has no good option to get off ledge with, and that's going to cost him a lot. So that bomb does a lot of shield damage, but very weak option unless you're just facing like that. Yep. He absolutely could have, but I think he wanted more. He seemed like he was going to go for back air grab. Yeah, that dash attack is super good. I know he was using it in the perfect way, too. He was contesting the move that he thought was going to happen, which was his up smash, which is just an excellent way to use it. Yeah, it's uh, it's also, I'm pretty sure if you actually jump out of it, it kills you. It's weird how that works. Uh, so if you if you miss input or if you buffer it or whatnot, it can just kill you. And it's like, well, that's super weird. Uh, this character in general is very weird, but he also can be fun for a lot of people who like to play him. He's, he's not the most traditional character. He's got a lot of weird options and a lot of options that people might find fun. Personally, I like up being out of shield as Krom main, but he just pushed him off the stage. He actually does have a better up yet a shield. I was late to convince this, but Bio convinced me after a while. Yeah, Krom gets 26, yeah, which is an extremely good amount. One more up air will do it here. Okay, goes to the fair, and then the, oh, no, that shouldn't be death. He's too low percent, but still, like, he gets a bunch of percent for it, and now he's at kill range. Yeah. He's trying to two-frame with the... With the... I've seen it happen before. It's quite annoying. 
I bet, because... Uh, okay, great dash attack taking the stock. All of a sudden, he's got a great lead. He just needs to play patient. That's it. Tops. He's looking for uh, Advo to show an option of either jumping or dashing back. So he's going to try and call out those options. Again, see, that's what I mean. He didn't go for the grab. He knew he could get it, but he, he went for something more, which I think he's going to be doing more in this set. Just because, like, the grab will get you, I think, 7 or 8 or maybe 10%. Depends on if you do, uh, uh, if you pummel. Whereas the backer will get you a bunch, and it leads to, like, a chase situation. So Yeah, I that's way more beneficial. Mm -hmm. I can see your point. Okay. The, the uh, landing. Oh, my God. I think he hit him with the chair after, because the up air clanked, and then the chair came out. Oh, right. he has Interesting to land. Interesting recovery, but yeah. however, it didn't work Game out. Game & Watch doesn't actually snap if you're too high, so I think he, he made a mistake there. I know he's not a, he's not a Game & Watch main, obviously. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's a heavy secondary, but... It does I, seem to be a global change for all the characters to, to overshoot the ledge if you don't space it properly. Like Mario, for example. Yeah, I think that's a good change, personally. It means you can't go for, like really early recovery yeah, exactly. it makes more room for edge guarding which i personally yeah. enjoy um yeah i agree that's a that's a good mechanic oh shield the dash attack doesn't get a punish still up in percent has to put out the wall and i think he's starting to you can see him playing more defensively gets oh, another back yeah. air all of a sudden one more move will kill down till two, two frame frames. Gonna right. go for it again, but uh, he just shoots up there so fast. He hard does. To, hard to react. Mm -hmm. That was close. Yeah, the wind box pushed him away, so he couldn't get a good uh, punish either, which is super nice. That's cool. one. Oh, I What's think it's bucket. That was a spot dodge. No, no, no. That was a bucket. He's got oh, a full bucket. Oh no, yeah. that's not good. That's a power. Oh, now that's gonna take it. Ooh, Excellent. That was Game two. That would have been a devastating bucket. I think it would have, because that's a heavy hitting move. That probably well, would have done. Yeah, I think it, I think the bucket's just based off damage, not knockback, because mm -hmm. of what you told me with the lasers. Yeah. So I find it really interesting. Um, that, I mean, I find it interesting that he won Game and Watch. I don't think he'll stay. I think he's better off playing Samus, but. Um, it's his choice in the end, and he's the competitor. He's the one sitting there. He knows better than anyone. I'm playing yeah. the worst stage, other than Lila. Which stage? Uh, Yoshi's Island Brawl. Uh -huh. I'm not a big fan of Lila either, so I can okay. agree with you. See the Game and Watch. Oh. I, I said other than Lila. Yeah, yeah. So. Damn it. Not gonna lie, I think uh, the Atlas smirks a little bit every time he hears Dark Samus because of the train experience he has. Oh, you're right. Yeah. I forgot about that. Train experience. Train in London, Sam's main. Oh. Oh, this is weird. Solid high level. I don't player know what's right happening. I I don't know if they're playing. I don't know if has Advo given up. Is is Advo testing his controls? It seems like set, but this is okay. Goes for an air. Yeah. Oh, it doesn't connect to a down air. That wouldn't have killed either way, but. Okay, gets that. Not able to punish it either. He's, he's realizing how many of these uh, pairs he's going for. Oh, nice call out on the dash in. Or the roll, sorry. Good air dodge to ledge. He calls those jumps out every time. Exactly. It's so annoying. That fair does a lot for Samus. Like, gets him off the ledge. It her. kills at like 120. Yep. This is the most patient advo I've ever seen. And I think he's truly playing this like like a Samus main where he's just just going for spacing, just going for retreating aerials, retreating charge shots, but yeah. Nanaba has got the experience and he is absolutely not gonna let this go unpunished. Yeah. Just here it's likely cool. unable to get the edge guard, but makes it backstage at the very least. Now Nanaba needs to make sure that he does not get caught off guard with any fares off the ledge. That's, yeah. that just starts a train wreck for him. Oh, that's death. No, he didn't go for the charge shot, he must have Those bombs are getting in his way. Oh, there it's you go. Fair. Oof. That's that was a weird hitbox. I don't think he um, he actually thought that would hit, but that's gonna secure him. He wastes the charge shot, but he gets back to stage for it. So at the very least, he. Um, I think that was a good trade. Yeah. Goes low for the edge guard. Didn't, doesn't pay off so far. Yeah. That fair is just a absolute wall, and it's a menace to deal with. It's 
Exactly. This is this is one of Samus's, if not Samus's, best stage in my opinion. I remember I accidentally counterpicked a Samus here a long time ago. I ended up losing for it, oh, and no. I was really sad because I'm like, I thought this would be a good stage for I think Inkling <laughs> at the time, but no, it's just her ability to sit under that platform and not interact with your opponent is exactly disgusting. And the charge shot connects into a true combo, which uh, you're just off stage all of a sudden, and then that's never a good place. I really do think that this character is the epitome of not interacting with your opponent, mixed with the stage. Just, oh, he didn't go for an F smash or anything, but the Nair's not going to seal the deal. See, this, the, the deal breaker here is if Nabo can get any edge guards off stage. He, he really needs those. In yeah, order it's to get back. very hard to do against Samus because. It's just a character. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. All of a sudden, it's two stocks to one. Adbo threatening a bracket reset. Still very doable, but um, it's going to be scary if he manages to. Oh, well, that Nair just barely missed. Uh, the good news, though, is if he does lose, he's going to have game one, which it's likely he'll take it given uh, their last set. That's going to kill. Yeah. Uh, actually, we'll talk about the next set if they make it there. I believe in, uh, in Nanabutta, actually bring this back. Yeah, I think he definitely has the ability to. You just need to scan the momentum. Oh, that could have been huge, that punish. I think silence is something that can be used in this set because it is just, there's a lot of spacing going on. Both players know what they're doing and yeah, you just sometimes have to watch to truly appreciate the 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 battle that this is going through their heads right now. Yeah. Calls out the jump there. The thing is, it calls out jump, and it's actually safe because it, it works on shield, too. Like, it drops on shield, so it's a hard, hard situation to deal with. If you have a good up smash or a good up B out of shield, it's it's hard to uh, it's hard for Samus to put that option out because you'll just get up B. Like, Chrom will up B 9 times out of 10 yeah. um, at, for that pair, but obviously Paulu can't do that. Yeah, that's very true. That actually poked Probably does shield. have fast up beat, up, uh, options out of shield, though. So not not at the bottom of the pack there. Goes for a dash attack. He needs this edge guard. Uh, he goes low, which is, in my opinion, a good read because he's been going low a lot, but doesn't manage to get it. Nava gets a dash attack. And he's his spacing is not as on point as oh, I've seen it before. That's a hit? Okay. Yeah, trade with the bomb. Oh, see, true combo. He actually time. does uh, have a reflect, which is her counter, but it's it's super. It's more risky than oh, the average. Oh, very good. Yeah. So uh, is that a? That is a bracket reset. Starting set two. I think Advo's going to use the washroom actually. All right, and I'm just going to it. have to go. So I will see you guys ah, later. See you, man. Thank you for joining me. All right. Can I give you a ride home? How far are you from here again? Fine. Yeah. So come commentate with me. Sid weaveling his way into a ride home. Love the guy. He's adorable. Now to the match. Hi. This is set two after the initial set ended 2-1 in Adbo's favor. Yep. I think Nanaba has the advantage here simply because game one, uh, Adbo managed to take a game with his uh, Game & Watch, but I don't think he's going to be able true. to do that again. And I think yeah. on neutral stages, Nanaba will win. So on the first stage, I think he'll be able to win. Second stage, I think it could go either way. And the third stage, I'm hoping Nanaba can win. So Yeah, that seems like an app prediction. Uh, just judging by how their former sets have gone, that is. Yeah. Now that Game & Watch is off the table. 44 from that two-hit conversion. That's quite insane. Yeah. So here we're seeing... Uh, uh, seeing Advo abuse the ledge traps, but goes for an upper instead of his normal fair and gets punished for it. Now Nanova back on yeah. center stage. Back I don't know what's going on, but all of a sudden Advo became like super campy relative to the rest of his play style. Uh, ever since that um, that last game situation, so I really think something's going on here for Advo. I think maybe he's uh, yeah, he's he's sitting on let. This has been happening. There's ways to punish it. It's just really hard. Yeah, it's definitely seems to be just taking a breather, calming down. Maybe he's trying to get in 
Nanaba's head. Yeah, I think Nanaba, he didn't really use the projectiles in the last match, but it's not game to watch. You can use your projectiles without being threatened to uh, get uh, bucketed, so. Yeah. But there is always a threat of uh, a straight charge shot going through, say, all the auto reticle hits. Yeah. So here, ooh, good parry. Excellent parry, managing to get the death. Gets uh, hit by I think he dropped shield. Yeah. He might have wanted to parry it, but that's risky and it's so hard to do. Oh, excellent reflect. Oh, he might have wanted to uh, reflect it and just underestimated how or overestimated how fast it went. So. Yeah. So. So here we're one seeing one backer. We're Ooh. seeing here both these characters very hard to kill, especially Samus. And there oh. goes Nanami. That, uh, I, I can't believe how many confirms that Samus has off of her charge shot in oh, this game. It can confirm into F Smash. And well. she just charged a full one, like, basically off stage. That's insane to me. Oh my god. It also does just, I think, 36% fully charge. He just got <laughs> jail blocked Jesus by the charge Christ. shot. I mean, excellent uh, from Advo to know that, but yeah. that is scary. This is a scary character. Yeah, that's a good back air from Nana, but gets the stock. A little bit later than he probably wanted to, but... How good was Samus in Smash 4? Not great. Lucky. Yeah, not awful, but not great by any means. But yeah, Adam very content just sitting in the corners here, letting uh, Nana come to him. Yeah, which I think is, is working to his benefit, but I don't know if that'll last forever, because I think... The more Nanaba gets to adapt to this type of playstyle, the more he's getting chances to win. Okay, excellent stuff. I'm surprised he hasn't gone for the F smash at all there, because if he misses, it win boxes, and if he yeah. hits, it's going to deal a ton of damage. Although there, he probably he obviously gets more damage just for combos. Yeah, probably just concerned about like uh, uh, which side Ad was going to go on. Just easier <gasps> that to that was so interesting. Did you see that? So he can actually air dodge back into his. his wow. Yeah. Okay, and 65 good charge shot at the light yeah. from Advo. Nanaba sure. looking a little tilted in the player cam, but I'm like almost 100% certain he can make this comeback. Good on landing. Stuck at the ledge again. Oh, Ooh. excellent parry. But just misjudged the distance a tiny little bit and pays hard for it. Ooh, slightly misplaced that up there, goes a little bit too high. And he's back at the ledge. Excellent reflect. Uh, it the charge shot actually got weakened by the uh, the bomb on the ground. It would have launched him further uh, otherwise. Uh, I saw that. that makes that sense. Was... Yeah. Oh, Ooh, reacts too late SD. to getting uh, two framed. Or did he air dodge? I think. I don't think he directional air dodged, but he. Yeah. I think he just reacted late. Oh, well, unfortunate for Nanaba losing the first yeah. game, but Going. not out of the realm of possibility. So going into game two, did you see what stage they were going to? Back to uh, two. I don't know why Nanaba does this. I don't know, I feel like it's a good pop stage at least. I agree, but I think there's better ones. He always does this. He doesn't like counterpicking in a lot of sets. Yeah. That's true. A lot of Windsor is like that. Yeah, that's true. That even goes into the melee scene Ooh, too. Ooh, almost got that down air to uh, get a really good lead. Really start. good lead, but all of a sudden he's not in the lead. Now yeah. he's actually at a disadvantage. But yeah, just trading some hits back and forth. No one really seeming to uh, pull in too much with an advantage. Ooh, gets hit while rolling by the charge shot. Um, uh, gets hit while rolling again by the charge shot. He keeps rolling away. He's very scared of it. But yeah, Advo is realizing just how um, how strong of an option charge shot is against Nanaba right now, and just focusing his most of his gameplay around just getting it charged up, and then worrying about what comes next after that's done. Oh, and very that kills. good bait. Well, One fifty-three. Yeah, excellent up. He had a shield. So, yeah. so, do you know anything about how uh, Nanaba's or Nanaba's sets go with train? 
Uh, Nanaba no normally, uh, um, normally it takes them with uh, Potena. Okay. And he, he's very confident with the Samus matchup, but okay. I think something's just off right now where Advo's on a different caliber. I like that F smash because I'm pretty sure it would have broke the shield if uh, uh, if it landed on shield. Back throw. Gets yeah, three pummels in, which is quite the nice little. Uh, oh, excellent! Nair gonna take it. Tether. 39, 39 percent. Yeah, that's not bad at all. Just one Nair conversion can bring this back. That was a excellent cool bait. Excellent job. Yeah. Uh, not falling for it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, slowing down the pace of the match a little bit, which I honestly think just benefits Advo here. He's yeah, getting his he has cuts. been ever since the third game of game two, or sorry, of set one. Um, it's just the slow gameplay doesn't benefit Nanaba, I don't think, as a, as a player or as a, I guess, as a Paulu main. Yeah, and these drop conversions from Nanaba are not helping him either. Definitely not. He needs to uh, be able to take his hits and extend them as far as he can. Yeah, Don't even go in for the down throw there. Uh, he instead tries to get maybe an edge guard or maybe yeah. just some extra damage off disadvantage state. And like, I don't think he could have gotten much of a combo there and he would have lost center stage for going for like a down throw fair, but at the same time, it's so hard to edge guard Samus or even ledge trap her. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, Nanaba making this back up. To Oh, perfectly even right now, and just takes the lead. If he can get this first stock, he'll be in a really good, or the second stock, should I? Yeah, I think if he can, if he can win this, especially just the stock, he can, he can gain some momentum back, which is what he's in desperate need of at the moment. Very clutch fair uh, to avoid getting fair himself. Mm -hmm. and that fair uh, would have pretty much regained advantage state for Advo. Yeah. Back on ledge trapping, Nanaba showing that he's definitely not slacking on the ledge, neither is Advo. Should be an up throw here. Yeah, yeah he's been going for that. It actually mixed up his DI earlier, but mm. Samus is a heavy girl in yeah. that armor, at least. So. <laughs> She's a thick Good one. job on Nanaba stopping uh, himself from jumping there, which you saw he was doing uh, at the start of the set, and Advo kept Oh, excellent. Dash tag all of a sudden. Um, but yeah, that was very good dash attack, and I, I missed how he died. Yeah, I didn't see it as well. I was looking away, but, um, still very even. Yeah. I mean, only decimals off. Yeah, aside from these last two hits that was gotten, uh, Nanaba hasn't been touched in a really long time. I feel this, uh, him hanging on the edge is just something I don't, I don't know how to deal with, so I don't know how to... Suggest options. Mm -hmm. I same with the projectile spam. Like it seems like something he has a reflector, but it's not a very good reflector. It's not like he's like Fox where he can hold it and get rid of it at any time. Yeah, I think the big killer right now is just Adver's just being more patient than uh, uh, Nanaba, which makes sense because it's it's easier to see a potential benefit from uh, Adver's side, but like he's just feeding off of Nanaba's impatience trying to approach. The roll went way further than he expected, so he ended up putting out that back air on nothing, mm -hmm. getting punished for it, but a very, very weak punish. It's, he's starting to roll and get on stage more, whereas he was waiting on ledge before. He's He seems a bit shook, or a bit scared is a better way to put it. Yeah. Okay, jab Good into jump. grab. Yeah. Calls Ooh, out the jump, too. The jump. That's a bad position. <gasps> No, that opening. that could have been. Ooh, gets the charge oh, shot, and the charge that's the two. tournament. Oh, Adbo is gonna take it. Excellent job. He successfully invaded and took all of our money. <laughs> <laughs>